Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about remote functions. What I usually use remote functions for is, I mostly use remote functions when I'm with local scripts that are on the client side, and I want that func that script to control something on the server side. So I'll go from a, a local script to a server script, or just a regular script, since local scripts can only do certain stuff on the client side, while uh, server scripts can just do stuff that's in the server and does everything. So I'm going to do an example for that today. So what we're first going to do is let's go into a starter player. We're going to go into a starter player, then we're going to go to the starter uh, character scripts. We're going to insert an object. We want to make a local script. I already got some code for here, so I'm just going to paste it in. This is going to be like when you get a keyboard key. Uh, function so let me just take that in there so what this function mostly does is it gets the player keys and if the player hits a key it will do a function so that's just basically it and what I want to do is convert this and that it will change something for the entire server or C so if a player presses the F key on the keyboard a brick will appear or disappear so that's what I'm going to do in this um, so now we have to make a remote function. I mostly recommend to put the remote functions in the replicated storage. So I'm just gonna insert an object and remote event. Oh, not that. Ooh. Remote event. There we go. Remote event. We can name it something else. I'm gonna name it uh, brick on. And I'm gonna make two events. Uh, I'm gonna do brick off. So these two will be the events, while the client script will have this events that trigger, uh, that will trigger the events. So now we're gonna come over here. What we want to do is I'm gonna type in. Uh, we have to get uh, replicate storage. So let's just do local rep. I'm just gonna name it replicate storage rep. So I'm gonna do. Uh, equals game dot replicated storage there we go and we have to get the function so we have to get the event so what we're gonna do over here is I'm gonna uh, go to rep so I'm gonna type in rep we get rep in here and then I'm gonna do dot brick on so if the key is pressed down and when the key is lifted up it will disappear so the brick on and we're gonna do the colon and we're gonna do uh, fire server so this is gonna activate the event to uh, happen what we're gonna do is first off I wanna get a part we're gonna put in here let's make it as big as possible I guess make it as big as you want doesn't matter uh, make it like that come over here rename it let's name it uh, brick why not and I'm gonna insert a script in here so insert a, a script just a regular script and here I'm gonna paste some code in here so now I'll explain it once I do so I'm trying to type in a script so first we're gonna get the replicate storage we're gonna do local uh, rep again equals game dot replicated storage then we're going to do a function so we're going to do a rep uh, dot brick on um, dot on server event so it's going to get when the server sets on when the client tells the server something uh, it's going to connect so colon connect uh, then we have to do a function and uh, we're going to do a function and after that we're going to do some parentheses and we're going to put player in there. Why we put player in there? Because it knows the priority. So player would be, once a player hits the button, it will get it. So that's going to be the function here. You could possibly name it something else, but that's just a nice thing to call it. Um, so now in here, now uh, this tells, so then the script over here tells the event what to do when it's on or when it's activated so now we're going to do uh, script.parent and then 
because this script is connected to the part that we want to disappear. So transparency e uh, equals zero. And then after that, now we're going to come back to our local script and we're going to do this again. We're going to do rep dot brick off because now we got to tell it to turn off. So now fire server again for brick off. Now we're going to come back into our thing. We're going to copy this and we are going to paste it back in except we got to make this to the name of the other event that's in our replicated storage then make this one all right it's kind of hard to see but i have two clients open over here so i'll have two players there we go we got player uh player one and player two so that's except they're both named player so if this player i'm gonna go on this player's account and if i press f it goes away and you can see on the other screen it also goes away as well and if I come over here to the other player it does the same thing so once any player presses F it will turn on and go off so hopefully this video is actually educational because uh, hopefully all my videos are educational and hopefully you learned something and could understand what I was saying uh, so see you on the next video and bye